Of course, alone time with your spouse is, is important. It's important to me, yeah, for sure. I think a solo relationship with your spouse is incredibly important. Mm -hmm. Definitely. I agree. We're married, we're married <laughs> to, uh, to our wives, not, not all four of us. So. Right. We have to have individual right. relationships, too. Right. But at the same time, being apart from my identical twin for even an hour is tough. Hey. Hi. Josh and Jeremy around and baby. Yes, they're right here. Hey. You want to see your baby. I know, I know. Yes, I do. <laughs> Hold on. Okay, here's your little grandson. Oh, my goodness, sweet boy. So how is new parent life coming along? Good. Fun? We're exhausted. Yeah. I know. It, keep, it keeps you busy, though. Yeah, we're all kind of exhausted. So, like, we don't have time for, like, the romance as much as we were having before, <laughs> and now we're thinking another baby's on the way, oh my goodness. <laughs> we need yeah. you guys here to babysit. I know, because yes. we can't go on date nights anymore, <laughs> you know? Couldn't two of you go out on a date and the other two stay home with baby Jess and have maybe have a date at home? It's interesting. Yes, that makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you've ever done that before. I don't think we have. We met in a group. Right. We instantly paired off within that group, but we've never like like left the group Entirely. to go be <laughs> by ourselves with our husband. <laughs> so. We apparently have never been on a date alone. Even on our honeymoon, I'm thinking about it. Like I guess, yeah, right. we were always together. So now we've never we've That's never done insane. that. <laughs> I think it it. it could be good for the relationship to to go out and, and have one-on-one -on -one time, potentially. Um, Maybe not, though. But I don't Maybe see, uh, I don't really see it right now, so. I honestly maybe not, don't feel great about it, but <laughs> uh, I'm willing to give it a shot and see what happens. This looks like a good pick. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we couldn't believe it when our mom pointed out that we've actually never been on solo dates with our husbands. And so that's going to change tonight. Tonight, Brittany and Josh are going out on individual date and Jeremy and I are going to stay home and have our first at-home solo date and take care of baby Jet. All right. Okay. Going out with Josh right now is giving me butterflies, like a first date because it is a first date. Just the two of us. Yeah, just the two of us. We haven't done this in, well, ever. Ever. <laughs> <laughs> Feels strange, right? Table for two. That's right. weird looking. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> there's not two of you and there's not two of me. <laughs> Date night. <laughs> <laughs> So like, what do you like to do for fun? <laughs> um, I like to hang out with my wife and yeah. my twin and yeah. her twin. Right. <laughs> Likewise. <laughs> Aw. Definitely, definitely. <laughs> Without Brianna, I just feel like a little bit insecure. I feel like Josh is so cool and like I'm just a dork. It's kind of weird not having Brianna here. Usually I can just, you know, stare at her and she like, I don't know. And it's usually it's four, like, you know, there's a four person conversation talking about stuff, so you get right. like right. the perspectives, you know? Right, right. It's like wonderful, <laughs> but. It's, it's, uh, it's different. It's very weird. Yeah, yeah. I'm actually, um, I'm just gonna run to the restroom really quick, if that's okay, sweetie. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I'll just help you right back. All right. Okay. That is insane. That was insane. I literally just stepped away from the table. I was like, I'm gonna go to the bathroom. Of course I was gonna call you. Literally, right when my finger went to call you, you popped up and you were calling me. That's insane. My ba can you show him to me? I mean, I don't want you to disturb him, but have him ready for me when I come home. Are you serious? What are you guys gonna get into? 
We're just kind of taking care of Jeff right now. <laughs> well, hello. <laughs> kind of <laughs> here, look, guys, this hey. is how it usually is. We're, we're like all four here. Here, we'll, we'll set you over here. <laughs> okay. Here, we'll just like hold you guys over here like it usually <laughs> is, like all four of us at dinner. Did you just see Jed? He's so adorable. Yeah. He's so perfect. I miss him so much. I miss, we miss you guys. We miss Jed. Yeah, I think the hardest part was like away. I know, I was having flashbacks to when we separated. I know. <laughs> Here on our solo date, it's kind of crazy to see what our relationship is like without the other two. Okay. All right. Bye. Bye. Okay, yeah. I knew you were going to go do that. <laughs> Did you really? <laughs> and I guess you did the same thing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> maybe we can, I don't know, maybe we can order yeah. dessert to go. That sounds good. Okay. Hmm. I am seven months pregnant today and we have a doctor's appointment. We all four go to the appointments because we're all four the parents and we're all four so excited. Here we go. We're going to listen to the heartbeat today and kind of get a sense of the baby's size and then hopefully find out the sex of the baby. Just to let you know, we have a new COVID rule where there's only one person allowed back Ooh. for the visit. Just one person allowed Just back? Just one, I know, I'm sorry. Oh. Okay, right. thank you. You're welcome. Uh-oh, you guys. I want all three of you in there with me. I know. Me. That's kind of tough, because we're all for the parents. <sighs> Oh, Jeremy, this is tough because I know that I know that you want to be there, and yeah, I want all three of you in there with. I know, me. I know. Um, you want to flip for it, Jeremy? Or <laughs> <laughs> no, I think you should go back there. Oh, are you serious? Are you sure, darling? Oh, that's so sweet, we'll Jeremy. Just be a few feet away. All right. I would be lying if I didn't say I was disappointed about it. I, you know, I would have liked to be there and see it. the gender, but I'm glad they could share that. Yeah, it'd probably work out better this way. All right. That's so nice. He wasn't there when we first found out I was pregnant. I was with Brittany. And Brittany took me when she found out if she was having a boy or a girl. So it was just a natural decision. So Brittany, you'll go back with me. I and will then... go back with you and we'll find out. And then we'll, and then we'll come tell can... you, honey. Okay. Yeah. When we first decided to start our family, we pregnant fairly quickly and we were overjoyed because we learned that our due dates were going to be just three weeks apart. Three's ahead. Yes. <laughs> That's good. That's a good start. <laughs> then I ended up going through a miscarriage, very physically and emotionally painful. Then, you know, the same thing happened to me and I, I lost the baby and we even felt each other's cramping and all of that during it, like physically felt it. I think we both feel that we both went through two, two miscarriages. And if wow. we sneak down between the legs, sometimes we can <gasps> see the gender. Okay. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so we're looking at the knees here. We're gonna look to see what's right between the knees. Okay. Brianna, I think you guys are getting a boy. Ah, yeah, so I knew boys. it. I knew it. I called it. <laughs> Another little boy. Oh, that makes and me you're so happy. Sure. It, it looks like a boy to me. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Walsh. You're welcome. Thank you. We're thrilled. I'm so happy that we're having another little boy. Me too. Our yes. twin universe is like back on track. We'll have our quaternary little boy twins. Yes. <laughs> we found out if it's a boy or girl. <laughs> Jed, are you ready to hear if you're going to get a brother or sister? I think he's ready. <laughs> all right, all right. Okay, so we are having a little boy. <laughs> 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 Their relationship is going to be different than anyone in the world really can understand because they're not going to be identical twins, but they'll be more than cousins. So I think it's going to be just different. Oh my goodness. All right. There's just like seriously not enough room in my stomach for this baby. I feel like I have three bowling balls. I know. I know. All my organs. <laughs> I can't wait till the baby's out of you. 
About a month ago, I went into preterm labor. Basically means I started having contractions three months before my due date, which is a little too early. So I was hospitalized for several nights and then sent home on bed rest. I'm gonna go change. Okay, yes. Like, it feels weird not wearing the same thing. I know, we're gonna remedy that. Sister time is a little different with Brianna having to be on bed rest. We can't do the active things that we used to be able to do together. So we're improvising. Back to matching. Mm -hmm. Good, that's better. Yeah. <sighs> I, just, I don't know, I just feel so like incredibly uncomfortable. Like I feel like <laughs> I cannot hold this baby like in any longer. I'm kind of freaking out a little bit. You're freaking out? I'm kind of freaking out actually, yeah. So for the most part this past month while I've been on bed rest, my focus has been on not having the baby. And now that I'm a month past being sent home from the hospital, my focus has been on, okay, I will soon be having the baby. And that brings up some fears that I haven't even bothered focusing on um, until now. I feel like not only am I sort of like responsible for making sure nothing happens to me, like your twin and like, you know, making sure it doesn't mess up Josh and Jeremy's life, but like also I feel responsible for making sure everything goes okay for Jet's quaternary twin. And mm -hmm. I just feel like there's just so much riding on this. I wasn't really having this much fear until I was on bed rest. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know if it's because I'm just sitting here all day and like we're separated during the day now. Like that's you... what it is for me. It's yeah. like, it's, the fear of that being permanent. It just, exactly. So it's right. hitting us more. Honestly, like every single morning when you get in the car and leave, while I'm sitting here on bed rest, I'm like freaking out about losing you. Like every single morning. I have the same fear as soon as I get in the car. I know. We do things to avoid the possibility or at least the likelihood that that would happen to us. Yes, we will want to be in the car at the same time. We've been on different flights from each other and that is horrible. We're never doing that ever again. We try to eat the same food so that we're equally healthy or unhealthy as the case may be. <laughs> right, we exercise at the same time. Doing things like that the same is a way to make sure our lifespan is the same. Got the wardrobes done. Oh. Looks good. Looks I, mean, good. I think it looks good. No, thank you so much. <laughs> yeah, is that all right? Yeah. I don't know, we just keep talking about like that one thing. <laughs> what one thing? You know, just sort of hitting us, like one of us leaving permanently, mm. you know. We do. Yeah. Is this a conversation the four of you tend to avoid? Are you okay? It's okay, Brett. We decided that if anything happens to any of the four of us, that the one that passes on, their, their spirit's gonna have to just come back and be with the other three so that we can all four still be together. Yeah. Even if the unthinkable happens and we don't die at the, you know, the exact same time, we'll always be twins. It'll last forever. We'll see yes. each other again. Twins are forever. We always say twinship knows no earthly bounds, so it's, it's forever.